third and fourth graders. I, I'm I'm reading that they are watching porn. I don't know, phones, like everything's just so accessible these days and like... And OnlyFans. And that's this how you make your money. You. We're talking about like relate relationships and I'm like... Not, I'm not judging. And like people who I might like, be judging the person that's stuff. watching yeah. you. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, are I'm you okay you, with your significant other watching porn? We, we are back. back. Episode 11. 11. That's so crazy. Unbelievable. Every single time we say that. We'll probably I say know. it every We're time. We're so excited. Yeah. Probably say, I mean, 111. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, when it's 111, yeah. we'll probably say. Say, we'll be like, yes. 111. <laughs> We're back. But Here we are. I, I mean, we're this just is excited every time. Yeah, amazing. But yes. not only is it amazing, this is talking back. Powered by Life Three Hundred and Sixty. I'm Billy, and I'm Drew. Man, thank you guys for. Uh, I mean, following along, making us yes. Thank top you. parenting podcast. I mean, we are moving up in all these countries. Keep saying it every it's, episode, but man, it's cool to watch. It is so cool to watch and hear your guys' feedback because it helps us. So much. Yes. So much. All right. So, um, let you know, okay, first, I got to talk about this. Okay. Teenagers and speeding. <laughs> that, you know, so here's the deal. I, I always advocate against not, uh, you know... Well, I'm not. I'm not a crazy driver, but I do like. <laughs> you are definitely not a crazy driver. But like, I do tend to follow the speed of the traffic on. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. And I got to remember sometimes, you know, they have crept that speed limit up to eighty now. Um, the one in, on the in way to Oklahoma to, City. Yeah. Um, there's certain eighties in the area, but Life Three Hundred and Sixty keeps me as a. I don't. I don't stalk you. No. I don't. Uh, but one thing that I do love Life 360 is it does give me the speeding update. And and it, it holds me accountable. Because you, yeah. I, I, had, I let y'all do the same thing to me. Uh, Dad saw you were going a little fast there. Right. But so it, it goes just both ways. Keep, but, yeah. So but I, I mean, see it. And yeah. like he's always like, he just tells me like, can't do that. You can't but. do it. Because I listen to little, because it'll, it'll show yeah. how fast. And it, it averages that out. So it's not like if you had to hit 82 one time and then drop it down. It You have to go like that for a certain, you know, minimum. Really? I can't remember what it is. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, okay. so, so keeps everybody safe. Yeah. And just, uh, it, it really does save lives with that, just that one little deal to hold right. even me yeah. accountable. Because I'm looking at mine and I'm like, I don't want them to get that. So and then, yeah, and I always I try that, to. So then I try to yep. be smart. We all try to be smart yeah. and safe. Hey, Life360, it's life saving. <laughs> Yep. Can't even say that. that a life saving app. Oh, yeah, life saver too. <laughs> all that. Download it. It's yes. free. Check it out. But okay. third and fourth graders, I, I'm I'm reading that they are watching porn. Probably way more than. Uh, I mean, even one watches for a third and fourth grader. That's. That, it's, I, I mean, on, on those little bitty brains that are trying to develop, and you know, they haven't right. even hit puberty yet. You know, um, and for those little brains to. Mm be seeing that and thinking whatever the heck they're thinking yeah, at that age i know because i can't imagine wild. like what they're thinking that's or wild of that, but it's just like so sad because i don't know phones like everything's just so accessible these days and like i don't know when the appropriate age right now is to get your kid a phone but i know it's like hard because i'm not and i'm see, not like, saying yeah. don't get your third and fourth grader a phone yeah, by any because means we had phones young yes, to be honest because like, kind it, of because yeah. like safety reasons it's still good 100 percent like but also, whenever I had a phone, this stuff was not as accessible. I never saw anything like, I never remember right, seeing anything right, like that right. or like stumbling into anything. But now, like, it's, if I'm around kids and I there. see them watching like TikToks, I'm like, you probably shouldn't be watching that. But and like the ads nowadays, like even on like I was sitting with like my mom's best friend's granddaughter, and like we were just like w like playing a game on our phone. Like the ads are like. Like, Barbie and Ken, like, in a bed together, though? And, like, that's weird. Like, why are they even, like, what? advertising that stuff to kids? Like... I know. It's I know. so weird. You like, advertisers, y'all are getting yeah. sneaky and creepy, and, like, honest. I yeah, mean, quit trying to like, sneak gross. stuff into yeah, the, it's weird. you know, in the little kids' brains. But it's been going yeah. on for... I mean, Disney's yeah. done it. I mean, Everybody, yeah. Shrek has done it. You know, but, I, 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 maybe like not Shrek. Stuff, I don't know. But I heard oh, yeah, that we Shrek does give some... 
adult or that was more like humor. adult humor yeah, yeah but like so kids probably want to catch maybe that, not but adult sexual humor right um, i don't they probably do but like it's, i don't I think they can i gotta it. rewatch that i've never caught any that, of it yeah because i don't even know what they say so Lindsay was saying but, that today yeah, so gotta check that out see what lord lord farquhar yeah, i guess so, has you know something going on and so uh, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm interested to see i know because yeah zion was telling me that it's funny too it's funny to yep yep but, um but, so but then like that's just obviously everyone like that's just way too early first up but then like if it sticks with them and that's when they keep doing like talking about how like this plays into like relationships in the future but like because i've seen videos on hey uh, if y'all watching right now let yeah. me throw this out there real quick porn is not relationships everyone's porn relationship is not i mean that is not real you, you know what i'm yeah. saying they paint this false picture and think of this and that and i mean and now it's like only fans porn it's just so like and only fans okay so let's get into that Which and if I'm you're not, if you're an only fan person and that's how you make your money you. we're talking about like relate relationships and I'm like not, i'm not judging and like people who i might like be judging the person that's stuff. watching yeah. you <laughs> yeah and uh and I know that, but, but here's the it's deal. It's more like, it's just because, like, I literally, like, I saw, I don't even, I feel like I get uncomfortable talking about this sometimes, but I'm not actually uncomfortable, but, like, I saw a TikTok, and it was, like, this girl, and she was talking about how, like, anytime she does stuff with her boyfriend, like, he has to, like, watch porn, and, like, Yeah, that's that not the way horrible. it should be. I was, like, uh, yeah, see, there's, there's insane. a, yeah, yeah like, there, uh, there's a problem. No. Yeah, I was, it's like sad because it's so normalized. And that's normalized what that world like, of social media is creating. Yeah, because uh, it makes it seem like that stuff is normal and like. And it's. But it's just like that is not. just. I mean. Yeah, because then I don't know. You just like depend on that, and like it just becomes like an addiction, and that is like. Well, and here's what we were talking about earlier too. It's more is, just like how it's so accessible, and like it's sad that it is so easy. Yeah. To like. But, but let's think about this. What we were talking about earlier yeah. is um, if you're in a relationship and, Yeah, that's you know, a good question because some, some, some of my friends are okay with, like, I know. their are, partner Are you okay me, with your significant other watching porn? I say no. That's, like, to me, that's, like, an absolutely no. Like, that's just disrespectful in my opinion. But, I, I mean, I would say it, there could be certain situations, situations, you know, like, maybe, like, one person, like, doesn't. Or like wants to wait, maybe I don't know, and they're like okay with like that person doing that, maybe. Or if you watch you know it I mean? together, I, yeah. You know, I don't. I mean, if you're watching it together, yeah. I don't that's, know. Yeah. That's something y'all can decide. Yeah, <laughs> that's your whatever you want to do. But, but yeah. here's the deal, though. Here's where I'm going with it: is if you are in a relationship and you're you're actually watching an OnlyFans, I even find that yeah. even a we little saying, more yeah, yeah, yeah. disrespectful. Because that's what we were talking about that with my mom, and she was like, "Well, I would find it more disrespectful, honestly, if they're on OnlyFans." And for a second, we were kind of like disagreeing, but then we were like. Oh, that makes complete no, sense, kind of, because, you makes know, sense. like, one thing, kind of, if they're just, like, picking up. Because I'm, yeah. I'm almost trying to form a fake relationship with I mean, also, with you're paying this, for OnlyFans, usually. That's what, like, paying, paying for is another, like, for an individual. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, then, I'm trying to, I, and, and I'm like, actually you're picking creating. Certain people, yeah, like, in your own, like, you're watching them a lot, so, like, you're, like, you really like their stuff, you know, like. E, that right there. So that's why it's that just right very, there. but that's, like, in a relationship way, and then I would definitely not. Be okay. Any yeah. of that, though, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. like, no, I just think, yeah, like, but it's it's just becoming so so normalized now for these young kids. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be um, I'm just, interesting I don't know to how watch that, these like, plays out. Yeah, third like, fourth graders that are growing up literally with social media like stuck and glued to them. You know, we yeah. kind of hit it just a. I, know, I, I didn't hit like it at all. all. Like I feel like I felt like the perfect. It. Like I still had my childhood outside. Like yep. all of it. Like I still knocked on my friends' doors to go play with them. I didn't text them, but. Yep. But yep. then I still did grow up in, like, where now we do have social media, and, like, I did get all of that, too. But I think I grew up in the very perfect time. You you, you hit it just yeah. about the right timing, yeah. I feel like. And, and now it is. It's such a... It's such a fine line, parents out there, that I, I know it's, it's, it's tough. But there are... there You know, and again... I don't. So if y'all, if y'all kids are watching, um, you know, teens watching, I'm, I'm not telling parents to monitor you 24 yeah. seven. That's not what I'm saying. But and it's more I'm saying and not parents even to about keep like, you like safe not the teens, but and just like, beware. And not the teens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. like no, like you know, whenever like you're yeah. at a certain age where you can make your own choices and that. But yes, y'all. Y'all know me yeah. well enough. Yeah, but when I'm they're saying. young and their brains are developing, like. I feel like, because I, that's why I don't know when I, like, because I'm like, I know whenever I have a kid, I don't want to give them a phone until they're, like, 
older, but I'm like, I know I'll like feel bad if like all their kids have friends have one and like, or if I want like them to have one for like, if they're riding the bus for like safety reasons, you know, yep. like just anything like that. But I feel like I would definitely have like the like on TikTok, I'd have like the kids setting on or like all the like kids settings on because there's so many, there's so many just, parent friendly apps now yeah, that and I feel like, settings, I should say, not necessarily apps, but settings. And I feel like that's very like, that's good because even like, remember like on YouTube, how like that, like one, like scary, like whatever that oh, thing um, was. Mo Momo, Momo. Yeah, remember how Momo. they put those in the kids? That stuff? was crazy. Like they just like do all this weird stuff, and kids like it's like. And you're like, why do you want these kids to see all this weird? I know. Stuff? It's like weird. I know. That people like you even trying to cater get these... all this. Like you want these kids to hurt themselves yeah. and hurt others, and, and like just like just... grow up like. You know what their brain Grow to develop, right? I don't know. Yeah. What is wrong with y'all people putting stuff out there on social media like this? It's insane. I know. Don't yeah. do it. I, you know, and I'm not talking about the only fanners here, y'all. I mean, people yeah. pay to see that content. You got to do that. Yeah. It's so more like, we're not talking about y'all. We're just talking yeah. about the people that might choose to do that. And you're in a relationship. You yeah. might should rethink that because that's that's disrespectful to your partner. Yeah. I mean, that at least if you're gonna watch it, that should definitely be a. That has to be a conversation because that's not just like a... No, you're, cheat, you're cheating on them. Because yeah. if you can't... Opinion, because you, you know cheating, you ain't like, telling them. Yeah. You know you're trying to get away with it. Yeah. And you behind closed doors and they ain't there. If you're open and honest about it and they're okay with it, then that's one thing. But if you're hiding it and you're lying or anything like that, then that's cheating in my opinion. But No doubt about it. No okay. doubt about it. So that kind of... I mean, we're, we're talking about relationships. Yeah. Speaking of... So when should relationships... When should happen. you, yeah, when should I say, we, I uh, like how, like, you guys, like, they've, I've never been, like, not allowed to have a boyfriend, but, like, I never had a boyfriend in elementary school or middle school, but, like, Kenna, she had, like, you know, she had a few, but, like, they're, like, they're and, elementary boyfriends, like, she met one at church camp, and she had one in school, and, like, they would talk at school, and they would talk and, at church and camp, and yep, that was them yep. dating, so, like, whenever yep. I say that, like, but, like, so we were always, and they, I remember, because she called him, and she was, like, can I can I have a boyfriend from church camp or something like that? <laughs> when we were at Maddie's and he was like, "Well, sure. What are you guys gonna do? Like talk You're at recess? Right? Or talk at recess or what? What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. But yeah, so. I We've always been like it's never like you're not allowed to have one, but obviously, and like because I feel I feel you know granted there's times to say no, so don't yeah. don't take this but out like of context. Whenever he said we could have a boyfriend, like we weren't we didn't even hang out outside of school with him in elementary right. school, like right. So you you pick and choose when to say no, and you explain your nose, and yeah. you know, and remember this, parents. I'm just telling y'all when you tell your kid no to a lot of things, and the way you say no. <laughs> they're gonna want it a lot of they're, way, yeah. way more, and they're gonna find a way to get it, and they're gonna sneak around behind your back. Especially Whereas, whenever it comes to relationships, if I feel you like. could just sit down yeah. like this and talk about it, even if you don't yeah. say my, you know, if you're not careful with them dating, have that conversation yeah. with them. But don't. also, just like you know that, like even if you do say yes to them dating, that doesn't mean like you have to say yes to like everything they ask to do, you know? Like, right. There can be boundaries within that like dating because like, yeah. obviously when you're younger, dating is First not even all, really real. Like, uh, I mean, exactly. Those, like you said, but, elementary yeah. kids, what are y'all going to do? Y'all going to hang out on the playground? Yeah. yeah. That's what they we, just, We're going to hang yeah. out on the playground. I remember, yeah, because like my old uh, best friend, I remember she had a boyfriend in middle school. We had like, this is what we would do though. We had like a fake wedding for them and we like threw the like leaves on them and like they that's got married great. and that's what we did so <laughs> that's awesome it's funny though <laughs> it, it is it is and it, it, it's it's kind of like you know and you know your own yeah. kids too you know their so maturity why, levels yeah that's why i would say i don't really think there's like a limit on when to date but i think like obviously limits on like what you're able to like do with your boyfriend or girlfriend i feel like you know because it it opens up healthy discussions on what's what's healthy right, in relationships you need to learn. like it's so what's not healthy to learn, yeah. what is uh what is toxic what is not toxic what i mean there right, is a lot of things to you know to put on the table there and and, so and, and talk it's good about for them he like to have those experience especially while they're at your house and while you're there to talk them through it you know and not like then if you never let them have a boyfriend one day they go out and have one and like, I've seen, yeah. I, I've seen it. It's I've just, seen it I firsthand. Like usually, like they end up not with good people. I feel like because they usually come back knocking on that door, and yeah. they're usually pregnant, like, and they could have been, you know, sexually abused. They could have been, you know, physically like, abused. Mentally, they could have been yeah. mentally all the above. 
And not that um, that would happen to everyone, but obviously no, it's just no. like if a lot of times you could have maybe helped prevent those situations by by explaining if they were already in a relationship and like helping them just like learn like signs and things that, to look out for. Thank you. I was yeah. getting ready to say there's some red flags. Yeah, you read my mind. Yes, there are red flags to look for. And like, out if there you never learn, time. you're not gonna know what to look for because yeah, I feel like I know what red flags to look out for now because of red flags I've experienced you, myself. You've experienced like, yeah. yourself, and we've talked about them. Yeah, and, we've, and like my parents, we, we were, like, were here to me through. help. Yeah, get you through yeah. the, the toxic situations. So yeah, and tell me like that's not normal, and like you. Desert, or like Whereas if I would have told like, you yeah. no, I mean, it, it's it's crazy what could have, you know, could have been like, well, this is, I got yeah. myself into this. Now I don't know how to get myself out because yeah. now I can't even talk to my parents because I wasn't supposed to do this. And then it's just, you go down a deeper, yeah. deeper Because like we had a hole. very like messy relationship, I feel like. And like, even whenever you wanted to say no, like we had like boundaries, but like they would let me and like, it worked out better that you like. Let me do those things with boundaries, you know? Yep. And then, yep. like, it ended up and we were, working out how it needed to work out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so it was good versus if they can, just told me no and, like, you I can, probably would You can guide them. You can guide them with, you know, um, even though you're saying yes, you're still, yeah. you're still, parents, you're, you're still driving the car. You know, it's not like yeah. you just let your, like, your 13-year-old get in the front seat of a car and start driving it. You're still right. driving it. They're sitting in the passenger seat, passenger seat with you, and y'all are going through this, navigating it together. There's going to be some, right. you're going to hit some potholes. You're going to have some curves in the road. You're going to have some, you know, some crazy storms coming along, but you're driving it. So you're there with them step by step. Yeah. And then I feel like another thing is like, just like if you are together, like as parents, I need to work on saying like it. I realized in all the videos, I'm like, 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 like. Like, but. like, like. Hey, it, you know, I, I used to find myself saying, uh. Yeah. When it was kind of dead air, I would be like, uh, uh. I say but it hey, way too much. And then whenever like. I think about it, I, I don't know if I say it more or less, but. I saw somebody comment the other day. She said like, like 17 times. I'm like, well, you, did you sit there and really count? Did you, did you, <laughs> because you probably did. You probably had nothing and better to do but sit there and that, count, but. Right. And that conversation so. I feel like was a little bit like, I, like it was about that situation. I didn't know exactly how to word it or like what to say about it because I never talked about something like that. So I probably was saying like you, a bunch. You do, but, you do. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. And we're, but anyway, so I feel yeah. like as parents, like if you're together also, you need to like work on your relationship a lot, which we say that all the time because, like, they're going to mimic, like, how you guys treat each other and how you guys work through stuff. Like, that's, like, how they're going to know to treat their relationship, so. Now I'm counting the likes in my head. How many did I say it? How many times <laughs> did I funny. say it a bunch? I didn't even, no, I wasn't even thinking about so it That's so hilarious, but no, um, so, it, but no, yeah, <laughs> I, I, had, even... I had to say that because I was just like, oh, this is funny now. I said um, it a bunch that I time. had to give you a hard time about it. That's funny. You did, you did, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> but because you bring up great points, is mm, you funny. have to have the relationship here, parent to daughter, parent to son, to let them form healthy relationships. Because if this is not healthy, chances are that right. relationship that they form is not going to be healthy either. And we say it all the time. You know, we do. Like even like my parents, I feel like you guys would like. If they ever had, like, an argument or something, like, they would work it out in front of us. Like, it was, ne like, a, like, a very, like, simple argument. Like, you know, but, like, you would work it out in front of us, I feel like, just to, like, show us kind of, like, that it's okay. Like, you're going to have arguments with people, you know? Like, so I feel like some parents, like, hide, like, everything. Like, and I'm not saying, like, it was nothing, like, big. I'm just saying, but if you had, like, a little, like, argument, like, you're going to work it through and, like, show us that, like, it's okay to, like, bicker sometimes and, like, work it out. Right! Like, you have to show like that. There's a healthy way to work out. I know stuff you see because, me and your mom like you know our yeah. little bit of you like, know I have bickering my little back and forth and, with my boyfriend too. Everybody yeah. does. It's not gonna be perfect all the time, but it's important to like I feel like let your kids see some like healthy arguments so they don't think you guys are just perfect and never argue and like they know that that's normal and they know how to work through that stuff and that yelling and screaming and slamming doors is not like the answer to that. Especially that. Right. Especially yeah. just walking off and yeah, silent treatment, any of that. And you know, I, and I hear parents because I, I I talk to a lot of parents, and um, I, I see I see a lot of you know, we played our last game last night, and uh, for the Tulsa Oilers, 
those of y'all that came, thank you. Y'all saw an amazing finish to, uh, you know, a season that we wanted to do more. But, hey, um, we, uh, we ended strong, real strong. 44-24 okay. uh, win last night over a playoff team. Um, which was huge. And that playoff team was trying to play for a third seed, so they had a lot to play for. Um, so that was a big win for us. But where I was going with that is parents, I, there were parents, two parents, two sets of parents who didn't know each other. Both of them showed up to the game just to come and meet me. They didn't know that I was a coach. They saw that I was Aww. coaching on my Instagram story, and they came up to me to tell me. Oh, yeah, I was with you with one of them, and you could yeah. tell she was just so sweet. So sweet, so sincere. Yeah, like she um, had her daughter, or I want to say her daughter, and maybe her son also. I know, I know. I, I can't Few remember if it was two. Her, I remember yeah. the older daughter. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but she said it's, it's tremendously helped their relationship. And a dad, I had a dad come up, introduce himself to me, and gave me a hug Aww. and I feel like as a dad that would really like got man I'm sitting yeah. there I'm like Aww. getting choked up he's getting choked and he's like I, I can't tell you you have legitimately cha changed my life changed my relationship and Aww. with my kids and we went to you know we went to uh, uh, a place afterwards you know to eat after the game and Another one starts really? talking to us. So Aww. I mean, there were, and that was another dad too. Really, and the dads really like it. Just really excites me whenever I see like dads come in. Because and that's the thing is dads it. and the moms. Out there, I just love it though. It's so sweet. And you don't sweet, agree but, with gentle yeah. parenting. It's okay because because I, like I know people like will come in like be mean because they disagree. But it's like we do it for the people like that. Like it, that means so much to us. And like, but even even like, if you're not, yeah. even if you don't agree. I promise you, you can take something that we are telling you out of our talks. You can take right. this because I mean, art, this is just like a healthy this conversation. Communication. Like, you can any, take this yeah. because there's a lot. I I I would almost venture to say most of y'all can't sit down and have a talk about porn, yeah. you know, right. uh, OnlyFans, um, relationships with your kids, which you probably need to be doing because that stuff is in front of their freaking faces. Right. 24/7. And it's like important to be able to like talk to your. I mean, whenever, like sometimes, yeah, I might be like, "Ewe," like I don't want to talk about and that. Right, but, like, right. I mean, nobody wants to just sit down and have. Yeah, but, but like you should be able to have open like talks. If you can't, then like you should something. probably work on like the relationship a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There, there's something. Not that it won't be like awkward sometimes, but like you should be able to talk about yeah. anything though because it's important. Yeah, most definitely, most Maybe. definitely, and just I, I just can't stress enough though the. Um, he, the whole the whole dating scene that's big with the kids and mm -hmm. you know let's say you don't let them date okay let's say you're you're that parent that's like absolutely not they are not dating they are not dating here's the deal what you have to do for them number one is you have to be sure and that you are openly communicating with them about what a healthy relationship is right because i understand like if you're like oh you can't date till you're like 16 you know because i feel like that's a lot of people's like till they can drive mm -hmm. kind of which is, like, understandable because they're like, well, how are you going to do Where are you going to go age? anyways? Yeah. What are you going to do? So, I mean, yeah, right. like, that's right. understandable. But right. it's like, yeah, just help still have the conversations and, like, still, like, openly talk about it and, like, just... I feel like don't... What and, like, is right? If you're, what like, is, you can't date under my household, that's, like, excessive. Like, excessive. Because, like, you can have them stay in the living room, like, any of that. Like, I understand whatever, like, rules you have. Like, I mean, But you got to set, you got to like, set the example, too. Like you have to, yeah. with, with your significant other, whatever your relationship status is, with your kid at that point in time, you have to be showing them healthy ways that's going on. Because here's yeah. the deal. Let me make this point, too. We say this a lot, but it's such a great point. Your kids that didn't choose to be here, and they do not get to choose who their mom or dad is going to be. And right. that so, is so. If you if pick, you were to so. if you were to, if you could go pick up a kid, yeah. out, if you could go, you know, pick up a kid. We don't we don't have kids anymore. We can go pick up a kid. Just right. picture yourself going and picking up a kid, and this is your kid now. You bring him home, and you can set him in front of anybody you want. Are you going to set him in front of that dad that you are with now? Are you going to set him in front of that mom that you are with now and be like, man, there you have it to is. Think this about is, like. Like the thing, like would your, if you're, or if you're a girl, like, and you're gonna be with a, or, okay, erase all of what I just said. I just stuttered like a hundred <laughs> times. Know, but, all right. Okay. But you have to think about, like, for me, I'm like, would my boyfriend, like, let my future daughter do his makeup? Would he let her, 
Would he put a tutu mm. on for her? Would he like uh, paint the paint the, paint the, the nails? The would he do nails, all that? Like, I'm trying to think what the equivalent for a girl would be with like a little boy, but like would she go like play in the dirt with him, like get dirty, like and muddy, and like go, you know, outside and, and get bit by bugs, doing whatever you want. I remember, I remember your mom took Darian when he was like five years old. Um, they were in Houston, and uh, and I wasn't there, and uh, but she got uh, some tickets to an NFL game. Um, and took them, you know. Yeah, and that's so sweet. And I took, like that. Yeah, and that's like, one of their lifelong memories that they have. You know, that's just and right. you know, Lindsay now. And Lindsay like, loves I football. And I feel like their other like so, memory is like my mom. She took him to like his camp thing, and they had to walk like they had to. Oh, a few she miles took him the to the kicking camp. They're yeah. so you know, even though that was a crazy, yeah. crazy uh, time with no Ubers in sight. Yeah, um, they had to walk they, like miles in like tall yep, grass. In tall and grass, they, and, like hundred degrees. I don't even. And think. Uh, <laughs> so it wasn't fun that day, but man, made for some fun memories and great stories for right. us to hear about and laugh at them and both about so, it. And she was so like happy to be there with him, and yeah. she was happy to walk with him. Yeah. So, so it's like you have to be mindful whenever you're picking the people. It's also like because I feel like sometimes people don't see their worth so you're like i mean you deserve more if you're even questioning that but if you don't do it for yourself at least do it for like your future kids you got to yeah. you 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 i mean it's just do it for not you you fair. deserve to do it for you but don't, it's just yeah. not, it's not fair, fair to you or your kid like if you're not being treated like i don't know but if you're okay so there's a lot of people that you know there's there's a lot of girls that think Ooh, if I just get pregnant, he'll change for me. Mm -hmm. He'll Which change. Like, you think you can change a man because you got pregnant? But apparently, like my mom's always told me, like the amount of time you like can't. guys like beat women the most is like when they're pregnant. When they're pregnant, and stuff. that so is a real stat. If you're worried about, up. also, yeah, that is the last thing. If you're questioning the person you're with, please do not get pregnant with them because then the you're just gonna get yourself changing. stuck. That's they're not gonna be like, oh my yeah, gosh, and then you're, you're just pregnant like attaching. now. Like, I'm yeah, gonna change they might everything. Ask, like, they will for a second. But, yeah. And like, why if and if they're not willing to change for you, you shouldn't. That should be enough for you. If you're like, oh, they'll change for a baby. No, but they won't change for you. That's such a great point. Yeah. That's such a great point because that's that's what so many of them think. And, and or it's like you deserve them to change think, for you, oh, not just if, because you're if having I can a kid, just yeah. you know, if I can just get you to put a ring on my finger. Yeah, you know, it's like that's not just... gonna change no, anything. That no. all you're doing is making yourself more like committed to them. I feel like you'll make them think, Oh, I have a wrapped around my finger now. Make <laughs> these people change before no. we take next steps. And if people aren't changing for you, then just take that and know you deserve better because change without or no, what is it? Something about like apology with no change is just like manipulation or something. Oh. If they keep doing it over and over. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. So. I like that. But it's it's it, it's so true though. It's so true. Mm -hmm. I mean, just cuz respect your respect your like you said, respect yourself and your future yeah. kids. And like mostly it's like a, I hope that you guys would all do it for you because that's what you deserve, but I know it's hard. So at least try and think of this, you would want your future kids to be like, I know I see all those TikToks and it's like me in 40 years and it's like my son's in his room, uh, like punching walls my daughter won't need and my husband's like, uh, you got Kyle in there with the monster tearing up the freaking yeah, sheet and then rock it's like and my husband's out there like looking at <laughs> high school girls or like going on business that. trips all the time. Yeah. Or, and then, but, yeah. And it's like, you don't want. If you see that being your future with the person you're with, um, that's not what you want. Yeah, think about like your whole life ahead of you. Like, yeah. if they're not changing for you now, I mean, and you've asked them, they're not gonna change. No, no, man. That's I mean, porn, OnlyFans, and relationships. Yeah. I mean, there's a title for a. Uh, I mean, that was you that know. There's a father daughter podcast. There's you. a father daughter podcast for you guys right there. Yep. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you guys. Seriously, we uh, we have so much fun doing these, and and hopefully, uh, I mean, they help us. They help our yeah, relationship. Yeah, they really do. Um, hopefully, they are uh, helping and change. I actually, I, I know we they know, are. Yeah. I know they are. So thank you guys um, for stay with us for this doing long it journey. It's going to yes. be oh, it's going to get so much better. We are so excited so for what's excited. to come. So, um, until next time. Episode 12. Yep. I mean, this was 11, so until episode we'll see you 12. Next week. See you guys in.